something wasn't right. He went into cardiac arrest. It was very scary. When Steve Dorr suffered a massive heart attack called a STEMI, he was airlifted to Barnes Jewish Hospital after being resuscitated and stabilized at Alton Memorial Hospital. A team of Washington University physicians was waiting to quickly restore blood flow by inserting a balloon to open his blocked artery. I was on my way and they were all around the table just waiting for me. Saved quite a bit of time, which apparently I didn't have. Every minute counts. The way to improve on the likelihood of survival is to get that heart artery open as rapidly as possible and, and stop that heart attack in its tracks. Barnes Jewish Hospital has the best survival rates in the region for heart attack patients, according to publicly reported data. Success comes from a team approach that begins with the EMS and ER staff and continues throughout all levels of cardiac care. The team is very experienced, doctors, nurses, and staff. Making a system work like clockwork, you really want to be in the hands of the kinds of experienced caregivers who can make a difference in saving your heart and saving your life. They knew what they were doing. Every single thing worked as it should have. Something can be done very quickly in a hospital like ours that can make a life and death difference. A heart attack can strike without warning. Sometimes the symptoms are as simple as a subtle pressure in the chest. Quick intervention by an expert team is crucial. It saved Steve Doerr's life. We have a five-year-old grandson, and they're fishing as often as they possibly can. They had taken care of him, and I knew it was going to be all right.